Hi, this is Tim of the 1916 Company. Welcome and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email us. Tmaso at the 1916company.com. It is in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any of our platforms. Reach out to us directly, Tmaso at the 1916company.com. Today, we are discussing something that I may never be able to offer again, a 2021 model year limited edition of five pieces for the U.S. market from Debatoon. This is the DB28 XP Rose Dial, a USA limited edition with extraordinary color and character. The 28 XP came out in 2020. Its purpose is to be the thinnest of the DB28 line. And of course, the DB28 Debatoon's icon, the model that won the GPHG Aiguille back in 2011. Basically, best picture at the Oscars of Watchmen. Making. So what does the thinnest version of that legendary lineage look like? Let's check it out. In grade 5 titanium, 43 millimeters in diameter, I measure it 8.7 millimeters thick with variable geometry floating lugs. You can see they can be as broad as 54.3 millimeters across the wrist and as narrow as 50.5 with a 26 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We're going to throw this watch on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, and it wears beautifully. Being all titanium and sapphire with a rubber strap. This is a watch that wears like second skin. Super light, easy to fit under a cuff, no problems there. And you can see how those lugs, depending on how tightly you strap the watch, those lugs will conform to your wrist. That's part of the ergonomic equation of the DB28. You can see down the barrel, it's out to the edge of my wrist, but not obtrusively so, not in any way that looks inorganic or wrong. I could recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 15 centimeters circumference. You could see all that mirror polished steel and the effect of finishing with diamond paste and tin plates. One more cuff shot, and let's take a look at the strap. So, 100% non-leather. You can see it's made of rubber, features a textile pattern on the top with a distinctly more saturated shade of blue. This is made by Jean Rousseau, which is the OEM supplier for Debatoon and FP Journe. You can see Jean Rousseau for Debatoon. We have a matching grade 5 titanium pin buckle. At Debatoon, these buckles match the case, so you can see that the profile of the buckle, open, airy, and evacuated, matches the profile of the lugs right here. We have these little ogival or bullet tip ends to the lug profiles, and that is the last styling vestige of the original DB1 chronograph, the first Debatoon watch back in 2002. That was very traditional and classical. Uh, the watches today are a little bit more avant-garde, but that little nod to the company's history remains ever-present on the models. Now, this is a wonderful rising and falling profile of engraving that's done on an engine, just like a rose lathe, just like guilloche. This is micro light. It's a more modern looking engine turning that watchmaker Denis Flageolet selected for de Batoon as something like a breguet guilloche or a rosette or a crosshatch might look wrong on a watch this forward looking, this avant-garde, and so this type of engraving gives you the same quality in traditional craft, just with a more modern aesthetic. You can also see we have a crown up at the top with double knurling, polishing, and matte finishing. It is a screw down to protect it from inadvertent contact with the floating lug. On the dial, everything that is polished is mirror polished to the highest standard. You can see outboard, we have a drilled track for reading the minutes, and then we have these spheres of fire-blued titanium acting as the hour indices. Everything that's blue here, with the exception of the strap and the little piece of tape, is fired titanium that's been oxidized blue with heat. And you can see that those little spheres have a wonderful three-dimensional quality to them. The deltoid bridge, a lot of people ask about this. They think it looks like the Star, Fleck, or Star Trek Fleet Command badge, and it does look a little bit like the Fleet Command badge, but the idea is that it pays tribute to a leaf that watchmaker Denis Flageolet found in the hills outside of his home and de Batoon's home in the town of La Berson. So officially, it is a leaf. It is a reference to nature, not science fiction. We have in profile satinated edges, and on top, it is fully mirrored and black polished. Note the quality of the finish. We have black polish across the balance bridge, and then the shock protection springs at the edge are satin finished. We have an extraordinary level of beveling, which you can see on the 
outer edges of the balance bridge. And then every single screw head has been black polished. Note the mirror polishing of all of the jewel sinks. Solarization on the barrel caps. And if you get really close, I'll do my best to hold this straight. You can see the glint and the gleam of micro beveled ratchet wheel teeth. And then, of course, we have this lovely micro light engraving on the dial itself, which Debitoon describes as rose colored. Debitoon makes its cases, its dials, and its movements in house. So, what you see is all Debitoon. They've mastered all the craft arts necessary to build a watch. Not every manufacturer even can say that. The balance wheel is the 2016 patent balance wheel that Denis created. He has at least 10 patented balance wheel designs, each one successively more efficient than the last. The goal always is to maximize the percentage of total mass in the rim, reduce the tiny impact of aerodynamic drag, and also reduce the impact of temperature change on timing. The hairspring is patented, two pieces that are shaped by hand and then clamped together with a micro clamp. It breathes concentrically for consistent timekeeping in every position like an overcoil, but it is flat like a flat hairspring and has the minimal shock susceptibility of a flat hairspring. The hairspring is patented, the balance is patented, the floating lugs are patented, and so is the triple parachute shock protection system. One, two, three shock protection springs. The purpose is to protect the balance staff pivots from fracturing, but also keep the balance staff pivot in the cup jewels as much as possible so they're, they're less displaced or they return more rapidly thanks to the triple parachute. So it's not just for durability, it is for chronometry. Well, it's not easy to see. You might just see the iridescent blue below the balance of the silicon escape wheel of Denis' own design, which is intended to reduce the amount of friction as well as the need for lubrication in the system. Twin self-adjusting barrels, they're patented, of course. You cannot accidentally overwind them, which is to say six days of power reserve, and if you do wind beyond that, you're not going to snap a mainspring or damage the watch. That is very, very important, and the balance beats weigh at four hertz, so the six-day power reserve wasn't achieved with some sort of a trick low beat rate. We have micro light engraving on the reverse side, black polishing of the grade five titanium case, and then more blued titanium. Grade five titanium, of which this watch is composed, has the advantages of grade two being lighter than steel and hypoallergenic, but it also has the quality of being more scratch resistant than 316 steel. And Denis also says that because of the way the titanium is polished at Debitoon, it is even less susceptible to scratching, which I find a wonderful relief. If you love this watch, and again, you may never see it again, even on this channel, five pieces made, reach out to Team Also at the1916company.com for pricing.